tutorial on how to access your plagiarism check information and the originality report that is generated by Turnitin.com. So this is how the homepage of D2L should look. You click Assessments, the drop-down box, and click on Dropbox. Then you have your list of the different drop boxes, and all these drop boxes are um, enabled to do the originality report and enabled for you to see them. Um, and this is again how to do it. So for this demo student, we've already submitted a file here where it says submissions. And what we do is we're just going to click on that. Here we have again the file that was submitted to the Dropbox. We have the percent that was similar to other documents and then we have uh, the color. The color is actually what you click. So if you click this you see it says view the originality report. We click on that and it's going to take you to turnitin.com which is the service that, dis that does this for us. So here's the original paper that was uploaded and here is the match overview. Again, it's 26% similar. Um, we have 3% um, is like the this Romansky publication. We have other internet sources and those sorts of things. And then you can look through the document as well and see where things are coming up. Again, you want to make sure that if there's quotes, they're properly cited. Um, when you have something um, like a reference, that's coming up similar like here at the end as it loads um, like here at the end these are all coming up as similar or the same these aren't things to be concerned about that just means that you've probably done a good job formatting those references so this is not plagiarism this is just properly formatted references because anybody else who cites those same people are going to be citing them in the same type of way um, if they're using APA format. Um, so again, those things aren't to be concerned about. I'm not generally concerned about um, other student papers, especially if, if they're low percentages, if we're 1%. Um, if there's um, really high percentages like this 3%, I might go, okay, well, let's see what's, what's here. And it shows me what um, is coming up similar. It also shows me where it is in the source that's similar as well. And again, if these are properly sort, um, um, cited, this is not a problem. Um, again, it's just giving you an overview. To print this, um, you go File, Print, and you should be able to print your match breakdown. Again, I just need this information here. I don't need the document and highlight it because I still have access to that on D2L. Um, I just want to know that you were able to get in and look at this and um, address any issues that you have. Again, you can do a plagiarism check. You can submit as many versions of this paper as you want. It takes a little while to do a, a check for each of them. I would say give it at least 15, 20 minutes. Um, for each one, but if you come up back and you see, oh, I forgot to do a reference, you can go back in and fix that. You can go back in and properly cite something. Um, so again, I'm only going to look at the last plagiarism report, um, and that's what I want you to bring in on due date. So I hope this was helpful, and um, see you in class.